ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday morning, the 18th. James Spann here. Severe weather potential today. That's our weather headline. And a lot to talk about. First off, quick reminder, we're coming to Oxford tomorrow night. Oxford Civic Center, 7 o'clock for Storm Alert 09. If you want to come meet us, learn about the weather, with some free stuff, we'll see you there. Looking out the window this morning, Birmingham, it's wet, cool, but not as cold as yesterday. We've warmed up overnight. We talked about rising temperatures. By golly, we've had that. We're in the uh, mid-50s for the most part this morning. Look at downtown Jasper. It's been raining there um, up in Walker County. That's the view from the King Building and from Tuscaloosa. That's the intersection of Greensboro Avenue and University Boulevard downtown. It's seen from the top of the courthouse, and the streets there are wet as well. One impulse will be moving on by this morning. You can see that comma-shaped cloud northeast of the state, so the showers and storms we have in progress early this morning will be ending. And, of course, the big question is, can more storms redevelop later today? And, yeah, we've warmed up. You know, it's 6 o'clock yesterday. It was like 44, 45 in Birmingham. Well, now it's 54 at 5 o'clock this morning. Tuscaloosa, 56. Montgomery, 57. No doubt we'll be up in the uh, 60s today. And there's a look at the early morning convection at the somewhat insane hour of 455. And uh, we've had some thunder and lightning, but that is moving on to the east, and all of that should be out of the state uh, perhaps by the time you watch this. And we'll have kind of a lull uh, during the mid to late morning hours. And yeah, that's got everybody buzzing. A moderate risk of severe weather, central and south central Alabama. Uh, some of the communities involved in that would be Montgomery, Demopolis, Auburn, Opelika, Clanton, Greenville, Monroeville. Here's a look at the tornado probability. Coming off the early morning uh, day one, that's a 15% probability of a tornado passing within 25 miles of a given point down there in that moderate risk. That's pretty significant. And then uh, the wind probabilities are 30% for the southern half of the state. And it just seems like that's where the instability will be maximized along with enough shear for rotating updrafts and a few tornadoes. Now, early this morning, we don't have any instability. Everything is elevated. The uh, surface-based instability way back in eastern Texas and uh, western Louisiana, northwest Louisiana. But we'll see that change, of course, with the daytime heating process today. And we'll drill deeper in the models here in a moment. There's the QPF chart, expected rain for the next five days, one and a half inches here. This is valid through Sunday evening. So this is today's event and whatever falls on Saturday. And that's a whole other issue we'll talk about. Uh, we'll go to midday today. At 500 millibars, no distinct, uh, you know, strong short waves showing up there, but the jet stream aloft at 200 millibars is screaming. Winds up there are over 130 knots. Here's a surface chart. Surface low up to the north, but let's uh, get down in here and look at this. This is the RPM model, uh, one that we have exclusive access to, and you can see that uh, uh, the surface base capes on this run are pretty aggressive. I mean, we're talking values approaching 2,000 perhaps uh, through central and south Alabama later today. So the, if this pans out, this is assuming the sun breaks out and we warm up maybe into the low 70s today. Uh, can it happen? Yes. Will it happen? We just don't know yet. Uh, surface dew points, yeah, they're exceeding 60 degrees Fahrenheit. And again, that's adding to the instability and the helicity. A little tongue of that is indeed over north Alabama. Uh, it seems like the, the helicity values might be maximized a little north of that moderate risk area. Uh, there might be a sweet spot somewhere over central Alabama, maybe down there toward Clanton or Marion or Ashland or Lineville, someplace like that. So uh, I will just keep an eye on the sky today. Just be aware that watches and warnings will be inevitably required and will be on duty watching things. Tomorrow, colder trough develops over the east. And again, the GFS not really ag as aggressive with a cold air advection tomorrow. So the high will be closer to 50 instead of uh, low 40s like it looked like earlier this week. Still a chilly day. Friday morning will be cold down in the uh, uh, mid to upper 20s with a light wind. And then the next issue is Saturday. Here comes this clipper thing. Uh, there's a look at the GFS, a fairly narrow band of moisture. And the GFS suggesting maybe a little light rain on Saturday. 
and not much beyond that. The NAM about the same, a little narrow strip of moisture coming in here, but the European continues to suggest uh, that it would be a wetter system. Now, this run, this is the OZ run, not as aggressive as the 12Z run. That one got everybody excited yesterday. Developed a surface low in the Gulf. This one really does not. Now, the 540 line is down there at Mobile, and this is suggesting maybe some snow there uh, Saturday night. And uh, you know what I'm going to say. Let's get through today's system, then we'll focus on this. We'll take them one at a time. But the European seems to be a bit of an outlier in this case. The NAM and the GFS just suggesting maybe a little light rain, maybe mixed with snow, and we'll kind of roll with that idea. And then Sunday uh, will be cold and dry as a new surge of cold air comes down the pipe. Next week on Monday, looks like a nice day, sunny and pleasant. Tuesday, moisture begins to feed back in here, maybe a shower over uh, North Alabama. Same deal Wednesday. Really, this run, this is the 06 EGFS, holds off the better chance of rain until Thursday of next week. There's a surface low north of us, and Friday of next week looks pretty wet. So latest data looks like the end of next week could be wet, Thursday and Friday, the 26th and 27th. Into the forecast, March 5th, the trough tries to form over the east, a ridge out west, and some cold air coming in here. And again, yeah, we'll have some cold air pops in March. We all know that. We get late season cold snaps into April here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Uh, we might not be able to crank out an afternoon edition due to the severe weather potential. Just watch the blog and see how we're doing with that, alabamawx.com. And, of course, we'll be on television this evening on the regular newscast, ABC 3340 at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Wait, wait, wait.